<laughs> hey guys, good afternoon. Um, my name is Ajayi Uluwa Funilola. I'm the team leader of Send This Up Index. We are a logistic company and we help people to procure goods. Hello, good evening, good morning, good afternoon. Whenever you're watching this video, um, this is Send This Up um, Mini Portation Training, and you are all welcome. Yeah, so you are watching this video because you have paid for my classes that send us up many importation classes where we'll be teaching you about luxury importation gadget importation and also how to drop ship from aliexpress yeah that's why you are here and i really appreciate you please make sure that you do not resell this video reselling this video is totally not allowed Okay, so let me go straight to the point. I'm going to be making this video, this particular video now is my first video in this class. And I'm making this video because there are some people here who have never um, learned about mini importation before. If we should go straight to the point and go deep into an advanced class, they really won't understand. So I want to make this video to just give a, sh a brief, or let me say very short knowledge deep and brief knowledge about um, importation from China now when you're importing goods from China um, there are some websites you can use to import goods from China we have the likes of we have the likes of um, 1688.com which is the major one that people use there is Tmall there's Tauba.com like that like that but the, there's AliExpress, there's Alibaba. The major one I would advise anyone to use, based on my experience and all, I would say you should use 1688 and Taoba.com. Now, between Taoba.com and 1688, I would also advise that you use um, 1688 because they are goods, they are very cheap and you get cheaper shipping rate. That's local shipping fee from 1688. I hope I'm not so fast. Okay, so now let me go straight to the point. The first thing you need to do is to put on your data. You must have data on your phone and you must also have an Android phone. Put on your data. You must have Google Translate app on your phone. Okay, follow the sensor of my pen and you are going to see what a Google Translate app looks like. Look at the sensor. Look at this app here. Just here. Look at this. This is the Google Translate app. I hope you can see it. Okay, let me show you properly. Okay. I mean it's okay good now this is the google translate app you can see it here this is the google translate app make sure you have downloaded that on your phone from your play store then you also need to have your chrome browser on your phone now um the first thing you do after putting on your data is to go to your chrome click on your chrome then after clicking on your chrome um go to 1688 so let me say www.1688.com and you click on go or search now this is the home page for 1688.com this is the chinese the one of the most popular or popular popular um chinese websites this is one of the most popular chinese websites where many people from different areas countries corners of the world any anywhere sure. this is where they all buy from mm. many most of them buy from here now alibaba is good too if you are buying in bulk or people will buy in thousands that's where you can think of alibaba alibaba is not meant for people who are buying five pieces ten pieces no if you are thinking of buying in box of hundred thousand hundred is even small thousands that is when alibaba should be for you then there's another one called tauba.com tauba is also good but it's not as cheap as 1688 so i would advise you use 1688 now this is this what you're looking at now is the mobile view of 1688 this is called the mobile view now i will have done this video on my laptop but i know some people don't have laptops and if i should do the video on the laptop they might not really understand what i'm saying now let um, i know that everybody have a phone so that's why I said to use my phone. So now this is a mobile view. Now, if you want to, I prefer teaching people using a desktop view or using a laptop. 
but because many of us don't have a laptop for instance you get now many, many people don't have a laptop and i cannot i don't want to use um, a laptop to do this video so now i want to teach you in such a way that you understand it properly you see these three dots sorry you see these three dots over here you click on it i've told you already that this is a mobile view right you click on these three dots here you see something called desktop site look at this here desktop site click on this desktop site and wait for your um screen the home page to load desktop sites changes your um phone screen to look like uh, like you're using a laptop it changes your phone screen to look like you are using a laptop if you want to navigate 1688.com it is better to navigate it using a desktop site that way you will get products easily you navigate it easily now this is called a desktop site does not look better than when we when, when we're using mobile view you can see that it actually looks far far better and there are lots of nice stuff here okay let me not go too far come back okay now um this home page is not properly loaded yet it's not properly loaded yet, and i will tell you how to quickly um load your home page now if you come down here you will see that look at this place here are you seeing that place that i just marked now okay that is why i said you should download google translate on your phone there are some phones that come with google translate already um pre-installed or rather let me say um inbuilt on the phone there's a the google translate there but so not all phones comes with it so it's good you have google translate on your phone now you will notice that this stuff here when you when it pops out on your phone when you've downloaded your google translate app on your phone this stuff should pop out whenever you enter your chrome and you enter a website that is not subtitled in english it should pop out so you come and mark on always translate pages in english it's sorry in chinese simplify you mark you tick it you get when you've ticked it now this home page is still not loaded well if it is loaded well you next thing you see is that everything here will be english so now to speed up the loading process just go to your search box click on the search box and type any random thing there you can just type in bag then search click on search this thing here next to the id camera icon that you are looking at that's this red thing here i see my 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 um bar just click on it and search now you can see that this is a properly loaded home page now this is a properly unloaded desktop site home page for 1688 you can see it and now you can see that it is translated to english in a case where it's not it's still not translated to english on your phone just come to this english and click on it recycling just come and click on it to translate the home page of 1688 to english for you you can see that this one is now is fully um, loaded already so now in a case where you do not have the name or you don't, you don't know the correct name of the item you want to search for but all you have for that product is a picture that is why i love to use the desktop site because when you are using the desktop site you can just use instead of stressing yourself looking for a name of a product you just need to go to your um, google and search for pictures of that product or and that way you can get pictures of a product you want to buy is through aliexpress <coughs> excuse me you can use aliexpress mm? you can use aliexpress you can use your google go to google and search for the products of what you want you get or you might have stumbled on it on instagram and you're just screenshot it on your phone but make sure that you have the picture of what you want to buy on your phone and if you know you know the name properly why not you can use the name to search for it so now let me show you what i'm talking about very well so you can see the camera icon over here I see my my bar. You can see the camera icon over here. Let me show you properly, please. One second. This is the camera icon here. So now you just click on the camera icon. Um, let's say we want to search for. Let's say we want to search for this orange jacket. Hmm? Now you can see this is actually some of the pictures that I used to save on AliExpress. Anything I just fancy on AliExpress, I saved them. Maybe I want to sell them or something. I just save them up. So you can also do the same if you have things you want to buy. Just be saving up their pictures to when you buy them. So now this is let's say I want we want to buy this orange jacket. So you click on the orange jacket and you wait again for it to load. Make sure that you have a very good network so that it won't be slow. 
okay so now the next thing as you're waiting for it to load once it's loaded properly you are going to see lots of sellers selling the same item you just searched for so let's wait for it to load properly okay so you can see what i'm talking about you can see that there are so many sellers selling the same products so all you need to do is yeah there are some things that you need to put into consideration excuse me let me just um let me increase the light of this phone so that it can be very very bright for you to see okay thanks yeah so now you can see that um there are so many sellers who sell the same products now all you need to do is there are some things you need to put into consideration when you are buying from chinese websites so that you don't get um you don't get low quality products or you don't get um how will i put it yeah the main thing is that if you don't get um substandard products first of all there are some people who have the habit of buying extra cheap items normally even you know, in our practical lives like you don't expect that a shoe that was fifteen thousand naira will be the same quality as the shoe that was two thousand naira it is not it's not possible you get so the same thing applies to chinese product the fact that they said that chinese products are cheap does not mean that you go and buy a shoe of 300 naira from china and expect it to be as good as the one for fifteen thousand naira, it does not work anyway. So even if you be looking for that, of course you should be on the lookout for cheaper um goods that are good. That should be your main target. But don't go for extra cheap items. I'm telling you from experience that if you buy extra cheap items, you will regret it. You will hate them. Okay, so please make sure that you go for items that are cheap but reasonable. The price should be reasonable. You see a shoe in Nigeria that the price of the shoe is about six thousand naira, seven thousand naira, and you are seeing that shoe on sixteen eight eight for three hundred naira. You are seeing that person selling that same shoe on sixteen eight eight for two thousand naira. You are seeing another seller selling that same shoe for five thousand naira. Common sense should tell you to go for the one of two thousand naira because two thousand naira is still cheap. Five thousand naira is is quite expensive when they are selling it for seven thousand Nigeria. So two thousand naira should be cheap. But if you are going to buy the one of three hundred, I can say that you have now done what they call ujukukuru. That's greed because we don't expect it to come and be good. So now let me go back to what I was saying. Now we have gotten to what we want to buy, and we have seen so many sellers selling the same thing. Now look at the first item. The first, see this. Um, I look continue look at my bar. You see that the first item here. The first item here is 147.6 RMB. Then if you come back to this place, this lady here will put her hand on her head. This item, the same material, the same clothes. Not, it might not be the same material. The same design of clothes is 69.90 RMB. You can see it. Now the next one, the lady holding a bag is... 418 rmb now they are the same design remember they are the same design they are see if i look at these first three they are the same picture they won't use the same picture to post them yet they are different different prices one is 147 one is 173 you can see it so there are so many things i need to put into consideration first is the price first is the price second is the seller ratings those two things are very important so now let's say you don't have so much money and of course you're looking for something that is cheap that you can just sell fast when they arrive and all that so you cancel out this one that is 489 it's very expensive mm? it's almost thirty thousand naira just on the jacket and before you get somebody to buy itself it's going to take time so that's out of it now there's another one of 69.90 rmb but mind you you don't expect that this one of 418 rmb will be the same quality as 69.90 it's not possible they will definitely be different qualities you get with different qualities so now i want to show you something there is something called the cow on badge and the crown badge on 1688 website now you notice that there are some sellers who have some a kind of um crown kind of cow on crown on their page on their store every single product i see here is a store it leads you to a store so now look at this um thing here it's called a cow on badge it's given to trusted sellers it's given to sellers that have gotten good excess good ratings that get good ratings often that's when they give you a cow on badge 
before you can get a cow on badge on 16 it must have a crown badge a crown badge is that your you sold so much of a particular product and that same product that you sold so much had a lot of ratings they will give you a crown badge and when you when you keep having crown badges like them um, and um, sorry when you keep having crown badge like that they award you a cow on badge now when you are buying product for 16 it will be on the lookout for products that have a cow on badge they always sell good products this is the truth so now you can see that this seller here has a cow on badge this one has a cow on badge which one again let me see let me see let me see this one has a cow on badge so whenever if i'm the one that wants to buy this thing now i will first of all go and check out their store and check out what if they have my size and my color and if the price is okay for me too i'll go for it before i would think of any other one now one of them is selling at 72 rmb one is selling at 77 rmb one is selling at 82 rmb you can see so now you're not thinking okay if you sign is having 72 75 82 let me check the one of 72 rmb because of course it all it has batch and the price is still reasonable so let's check this one at 72 rmb okay so we are here now you can see we are here now so now of course it has it has a cow on badge hmm? it has it has been they've been in business for six years of and if uh, like i said now seller ratings you'd have to check on I don't, when you talk about seller ratings check how many years i've been in business <coughs> sorry excuse me check how many years i've been in business and how many stars or reviews the products that you want to buy from them have or has rather okay so now this although they have six years in business and they even have a crown on the a crown badge on their store yet this product does not have any star and no reviews now what happens when this kind of thing happens is that it's possible that this product is a new product that they just brought out on their store and nobody has bought it yet and there are no reviews on it, it does not mean that the product is bad it does not mean that so now you can actually still buy this product because they are six years in business and they still have a crown so it can push you to buy this product and before you buy, you can check out the other ones who have a crown too and see if they have is anyone that have good ratings or no. But you know, you just pick, check out if they have good stars, check out how many they have been in business. Once they are above three years in business, it's cool. It's cool. Then once it's above three stars, it's also cool. That if you now have a crown on, then that's an additional advantage to them. So now let's go into their store and see why they gave them. A crown on badge so we'll click on entering the store most times this page does not use to translate so let me tell you what some things here mean this thing over here it means commodity it's just like saying home page while this one here it takes you to all their goods is it only two things you really need on this page this second one i just clicked now we take you to all their goods you get so now um you click on all goods it's going to show you all the goods that they have in their store so now that you're into their store i'll show you why they aimed a crown on batch good now you notice that oh sorry 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 okay good now look at this stuff hmm see it here again see it here again see it here again i think they have so many products that have a crown like it's so many are you seeing they have so many products i'm sure if you keep going down we'll still see more products that have crown i see another one here so now those things if you keep scrolling down you keep seeing products that have crown there are those things that they put into factor before giving a seller a badge there are those things put into um, consideration before giving them a badge now even all these things here they mean they are like awards everything you see here they are awards for a seller so there are things to check out once the seller has a badge they are now six years in business you know that they sell good product and they even have a lot of product that have crowns on it now see this stuff hmm? see this stuff here this stuff here means that they've sold 35 pieces of this item this one means that they've sold 27 pieces 
sorry this one here means they sold 21 so if you have sold 143 of it that's all those one that's transactions now let's say we want to buy this um i mean i mean jacket stuff you can see that this one has 373 transactions and it still has a crown on it you get so these are the things that must have made them award them a crown doesn't mean that the fact that that particular one now see now they have so many pros that have they have a um, lot of transactions and as a crown so it's possible that maybe the other jacket is just a new product that they've not they just brought out to the market now let's check out the um this one that has a crown it has a crown now let's check out the stars you can see it has good five stars you can see from the same seller now it has good five stars and a total of 260 reviews let's see how this seller this um buyer said the service is entwined stick the integrity is good the cooperation is very pleasant you can see that's a good review so that can push you to actually buy from this seller so if you now make up your mind that okay, you want to buy from this particular seller now this is the product you want to buy right so now you go to your chrome okay but let me before i go there let's say you want to buy like ten thousand pieces of this product and you want to you want to talk to the seller and ask him if he can give you a discount and other kind of thing now what you do is um before i forget let's look at this star here this star you can just start the product in case maybe you don't want to buy it now but you just like it you can add it to your favorite but before you can do that you have to be registered on 1688.com so now like i was saying you want to chat up the seller and ask for a discount or something a request now you click on customer service here down here click on customer service to take you to the chat page of that seller or the dm of that seller or the company rather now you'll be asked to log into your account first before you can chat up the seller okay you log in if you're not logged in you just register and you log in then okay now this stuff here means that okay 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 good i was actually chatting up the seller earlier before now this stuff here means that the seller is online that's what this stuff here means it means the seller is online and you are available to chat with sorry okay 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 so i just you have to go straight to the point no um greetings you don't have time for greetings so just go straight to the point you can see i just said hi i love your product i need one thousand pieces of the jackets can i get a discount i don't want to buy the product though i'm just trying to you know i was trying to make a video earlier but i didn't want to use the video again so now you just go straight to the point then he replied me back giving me their um company details and what they sell and all that then he, I noticed that he replied me in Chinese. That can only mean that he does not understand English. You get it means that they do not that this particular not all of them this particular seller does not understand English. That was what must have prompted him to um, reply me in Chinese. Stop. That was must have prompted him to reply me back in Chinese. And the moment I, I understood that, the next thing you do is that you reply him you send him a message in chinese also so that you both of you can easily communicate because if he doesn't understand what you are saying he won't chat you up you get so what you need to do now that's why i say you should have your google translate app on your phone so you go to google translate app hmm? then you type what you just said hi i love your product i need one thousand pieces of your jacket can i get a discount just type it make sure that your, your google um, translate is um, set to english to chinese simplified that you come and copy it see the copy icon you copy it come and paste it did i just do that you come and paste it here yeah, sorry yeah you come and paste it here on your chat sorry 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 about that so you come and paste it on the app now what this is telling me now is that it wants me to use the app it's, it's not all the time that to do request for this but once you start seeing something like this you're trying to chat up a seller and this should pop out just click on this chinese word here it means that it wants you to use the app to take me to the app now and take me to that seller's account that's all
It's just not what it wants me to do. And you can see the seller has actually replied me. So what I just need to do, I already copied the Chinese word that I want to send to him. Just come here, paste, and send. You get, you paste and send whatever you want to send to him. Okay, so I'm back here. Sorry for the distraction. So what I just need to do is to paste what I want to send to him here and send it to him. You get. Okay, sorry, I didn't copy it well. But what I'm just trying to say is you just paste whatever you want to send to the seller from Google Translate. You paste it here, send to the seller, you reply you and you guys continue like that till you are done. This place, you will find it difficult to translate whatever the seller is saying if you don't understand how to read in chinese you find it difficult to understand what he's saying so once you start getting confused with this with chinese whatever just tell him please let me have your wechat number now what he's telling me here is that he can give me a discount of 75 rmb per one the minimum he can give me if normally they are normally the jacket is 85 rmb but if i want to buy 1000 pieces it will give me 75 rmb that is what he said here now so i'm just trying to tell you now that if you don't understand what they are saying if you don't understand what they are saying just request that they should give you their wechat account i am i am supposed to have said this in chinese because it's like this man does not understand or the seller does not understand um, english so you just go back to your google translate type button type copy the translation and come and paste it so that i can give you his wechat id then you can now continue your conversation on wechat on wechat there's an automatic translate um feature there that can help you translate whatever you want to translate very easily unlike using 1688 web page so now let us now say you have now said okay this is what you want to buy this is what you want to buy and now all you need to do is to copy the link of this item you want to buy by clicking on your chrome page on your chrome search url box then you click on copy you have copied the url with that come to your um whatsapp now you want to buy them you send them to us for you to buy so um i was trying to make a video earlier but i didn't use the video again that was why you are seeing all these stuff so now let us now say you want to buy that product all you need to do is to come create a group on your whatsapp and name the group link group you name the link link group so that any link that you get online you can save them properly so that later you won't start looking for them your task getter just create a group and save, name it link group and be saving all your links there so now just come here and paste the link that i've saved that i've copied i'll send it here mm? then when i'm ready to buy it i'll now come and edit it is this here? this same link is still this one now you can just call them say i want to buy 50 pieces 10 green 10 blue 10 red, 10 white, 10 orange, all size large. Mm? I put my email address, sorry. I put my email address, put my full name, link 1. If the links are up to 100, when you finish link 1, give it a space, link 2. Give it a space, link 3. Give it a space, link 4. Like that, you are done. Now, you can use either, you use either you use the um, web, web, um, web, um, WhatsApp page to send us your orders, or you can use our website which is um www.sendasaplogistics.com okay i'm coming let me just <clears throat> sorry all you need to do is to come to if you don't want to use our webs and um, whatsapp page drop your order you can use our website come to www.sendasaplogistics.com then you click on create i'm sorry request a quote put your full name your phone number your email address the, that stuff that you just did now on whatsapp and this is what you want to buy now that, that link you come and copy it link one are you seeing just copy this link now come and paste it here if the links are up to 100 just continue like that after you put the first link you are buying three three all right three pieces on it the colors you want on that give a small space link to do the same thing there till you are done then you can now choose which would you like us to review to your local address yes please review to me that's what you want us to do you want us to review you click review if you are coming to pick up click no i'll pick up at the office and you click on submit codes then you will refer to a page where you pay your commitment fee and their order will be attended to within 
48 hours you get a and you get an invoice so now that's that about placing an order through 1688 that's that about that it's very easy if you can follow the steps you won't have any problem at all i've simplified it for you properly so if you have any questions on this particular video please immediately after this class just send me a message on the group so that i can attend to it thank you